Foot orthotics are medical appliances that are custom made to correct specific foot imbalances and weight distribution abnormalities. Custom foot orthotics or insoles fit in your shoes and are used to restore the normal function and alignment of the feet and body by balancing the pressure and forces across the feet. They are used to treat a variety of pathologies including pes planus, arch and heel pain, poor mechanics and other deformities of the feet, knee, hip and spine. The foot orthotics fabricated at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Salt Lake City Pops location are made with a unique process using a scan of the patient to carve an insole out of a solid block of foam and not a positive mold. This creates an insole that is durable, quick to fabricate, economical, and easily reproducible. The process begins when a practitioner scans a patient's foot and modifies the scan to achieve their biomechanical goals. When the practitioner is finished modifying the scan, it is digitally sent to Salt Lake where the carving process begins. When the scan and work order are received, work begins on the orthotic. The work order is printed and any questions on the order are clarified. Sometimes the work order is missing important information like assigning practitioner or hospital location. Having this information written on the order is very helpful. The technician opens the scan file and positions it on the virtual blocker in the OrthoCam software. The scan can be tilted and raised, but no other modifications are possible at this point. Due to the height of the blocker, only small movements are possible or the insole will not carve properly. The technician then writes the carve file and sends the file to the carver. The correct block specified by the treating practitioner is selected. The blocks are made of different materials and are selected for the patient's need. Carpet tape is applied to the bottom of the blocker to keep it from shifting and then is loaded into the machine. The technician opens the correct carve file and begins the carving process. The carver makes a cutting pass to outline the outside of the orthotic, then the rest of the shape is carved into the foam. When the carving is complete, the blocker is removed from the machine, the excess foam is removed with the bandsaw and then prepared for the top cover. Glue is applied to the top cover and orthotic and allowed to dry. Spray glue is then used because it does not drip into the perforations in the top cover, dries quicker, and applies evenly. The cover is heated in the oven and applied to the orthotic. Small holes in the foam allow the cover to be stretched into the heel and prevent air bubbles. Once the cover is applied, the orthotic can then be smoothed, bagged, and labeled. The technician then prepares the insoles for shipping. Enough material is left for the practitioner to adjust the orthotic for the patient's specific shoe width, length, arch height, and any flaring that are clinically appropriate at the time of the fitting. A properly designed, fabricated and fit orthosis will help the patients and practitioners achieve their orthotic goals and create positive outcomes for the patient.